the original impulse for, for this whole thing actually came from uh, Gérard Mortier, who um, called me up and said, look, I think it's time for you to do Tristan. I had just a few weeks previously seen a, a big exhibition with Bill, Bill Vela, um, portraits that had been slowed down. What he does, like Wagner, is slow down time. And much of Bill's work is, is, is a video image meticulously photographed that then he manipulates the time flow. And so you're able to see the seconds inside the seconds. What is time inside of time? That's, of course, what Wagner's music is giving you. And Bill uses video technology to open up time. And I thought, OK, now we have the ingredients here. We, have, we should ask Bill, and then we have Peter, and so on and so forth. So that's, that's how it got started. deliberately trying to make something uh, that moved forward and spoke from a very progressive place. Bill Viola's videos can really open on an interior world and keep an interior world alive and not illustrate Wagner's music, but quite the opposite. Move into a, a zone that is so private where everyone in the audience is making their own associations just as they are with the music. It's about a plunge into synesthesia. You know, what's marvelous is the singers are living and breathing and present. The video is two-dimensional. So what we're, our work is to create the sound world as three-dimensional. So we're placing musicians all over the hall, singers all over the hall, so the audience is immersed in Wagner's music. Um, it, it's just the most amazing part you can ever wish to play. The, the main bit for me is um, a bit at the beginning of the third act. Well, actually, it runs through the third act. Um, I have to go off stage. Um, but it's very, very present, actually, um, it seems. Um, and it just goes on and on and on. I'm just completely on my own, and the, the theatre's in darkness. Um, and it's very scary. The second act, the singers are singing from out in the hall, particularly to get that sense of in the woods. You know, people people calling to each other through the trees, not being able to see each other, but just hearing and finding each other. Act one on the boat, the idea that, you know, the sailors are down below decks and then they're up above and then somebody's singing from the crow's nest and all of those spaces that are on board a ship and the commander is on that deck and the women are on a lower deck. All of the, all of the kind of spatial levels of Wagner's imagination, we can actually realize in this space, and the space itself becomes, the whole room becomes musically charged and activated. Isolde, who's singing now, is gonna come off through this door. Then I'm gonna collect her and run around through these back corridors and past doors and things through the auditorium, to the foyers, to the next entrance in the auditorium. But it's a short time, it's only a minute and a bit, so. So she has to run round before she makes her entrance, then she has to walk through the auditorium down the steps. Been doing it for years, that's the way it works. <laughs> I'm 
very very glad to to sing here as uh, the in this particular situation because of opera in concert but there's also some like staging and this video is it's giving more than more than just a concert performance of some opera and i think it's thrilling for the audience also because they i mean they feel especially in this production with the singers being all over the house they feel like they are part of the production it here in Europe with the Philharmonia, first of all for me it's a, it's a very joyful experience to, to be back with this material. To come back to it after considerable experience um, it is wonderful because it's like meeting an old friend but also um, discovering new things constantly. It, it's the kind of score that, it, it's this kind of a cliche of course that life is one big long learning process but in this case yes I think one lifetime is sadly quite short every time I come back to it I, I know I'm deeper <laughs> the other thing I have to say is having orchestra of the presence and seriousness and clarity of the Philharmonia right there on stage because of course the drama is in the orchestra and when you're in a theater the orchestra is buried in a pit and you're just not getting the teeming world of, of memory and experience and emotion that the orchestra right there gives you. Again, what's so marvelous is when you're inviting an artist, not a stage designer, you're getting something that's not an illustration, it's not a commentary. It's its own work of art. I mean, what's going on is a technology that's much more elaborate than what meets the eye. I'm Alex McGinnis, and the, I guess my official title is Technical Director of the Video. So I worked with Bill, helping him uh, with the original editing of the project, and then very quickly it became clear that between conductors and even night to night, there could be huge variations in the time of different segments of the piece, and especially being Tristan, it can be very organic and very sort of expansive or contracted to Tempe or all over the place. Uh, and so we needed to come up with a system of keeping the video in sync with the music. And traditionally, one would have some sort of click track or something, but that was just ridiculous for a piece like this. There's no one movie. It's not like you just sort of put a DVD in and press play. Um, so it's all little bits. Each shot is its own segment. And sometimes what seems like one shot is actually three or four different segments. And we mix those together and hopefully what seems like a very smooth and organic way that you just sort of find that the video just is constantly evolving as the music is evolving. And the conductor is conducting, although he may not realize it, is conducting the video um, as much as the music and the singers. So what Bill Viola has been able to do is in the first act create an inner journey of two people who are on their way to end their lives, what it means when you choose death. And Bill gives you the plunging into those worlds, 
worlds that are on fire, worlds that are freezing underwater, all of these worlds shift with the speed of thought. So the evening really builds in force, as Wagner does, but also as Bill Viola does, starting with really highly um, strategic and, and highly structured formal process, and then finally opening up into something that, again, takes you into a synesthetic world where you don't know where your senses begin or end. 